Hello students, today we are going to learn Kitsurani Chanama. Now we will start the lesson. We got freedom on 15th August 1947. Many of our great leaders fought against the British rule. Some of the pictures are given below. Can you identify them? See these pictures you have to identify. We got our freedom on 15th August 1947. This, this thing we know very well. Now see these pictures and identify the freedom fighters. We see Mahatma Gandhiji. Next, Bhagat Singh. He is Subhash Chandra Bose. Next, Abul Kalam Azad. After that, Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Now, today we are going to learn about a great freedom fighter that is a lady freedom fighter. These, are, these people are the men. But, we are going to learn about a woman. Rani Chanama was born in 1778. She was the daughter of Julapa Gauda a Desai of Kakati village of Belga. When she was born, Rani Chanama, she was born in 1778. And then she is the daughter of Dulapa Gauda, who belongs to Kakati village of Belga. He is a Desai to that village. Her mother was Padmavati. He is, was a pious woman. Means she is more religious. She believes God. So, Chanama was brought up with love and care. She learnt Urdu and Marathi along with Kannada. She learned Urdu, Marathi along with Kannada. When she was young, she read epics like the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. She also read different books of the Vachanas. She read epics like Ramayana, Mahabharata and also read the Vachanas. Many Vachanas she read. Chanama learned shooting and horse riding. She was bold and intelligent. The wise man said, Shanama will become a great queen. That become true. And she was young that time only. The wise man told she is going to become a great queen. That become true later. Once a tiger appeared near the Kakati village forest area. The tiger was troublesome to the farmers. He would destroy their crops. At that time, Malasarja, the king of Kito state, had come to Kakati. The people come to meet him, they requested Malasarja to drive out the tiger. So once a tiger appeared in Kakati village, it is troubling to the farmers. So that time Malasarja, the king of Kakitur state arrived there that time. So these farmers went and meet Malasarja. So they requested him to ride out the tiger. Along with some soldiers, Malasarja set out into the forest. He was a skilled hunter. He chased the tiger in the forest. Suddenly, the tiger disappeared. On the other side, Shanama rode her hearts behind the tiger. Finally, she shot him with arrows. Two arrows pierced his body. Shanama had killed the tiger before Malasarja came to the spot. What a brave lady! Malasarja praised her bravery. He married Shanama because of her valor and beauty. So, Malasarja went into the forest to kill the tiger. Suddenly, the tiger was disappeared. That time, Chanama went behind the tiger and she killed the tiger. By seeing that, Malasarja was praised her and her uh, bravery and then beauty, he married Chanama. Her fight against the British. Chanama was patriotic. She loved her country the most. Her, the British attacked Kitur Fort in 1824. She fought against the British bravely. She killed a number of British soldiers. She won the first battle, but in the second battle, she was caught and imprisoned. She was captain by Hungal Chen. There she breached her last on 2nd February 1829. Her name has been written in the pages of our history. Every Indian remember her. Shanama loved the country most. Britishers attacked the fort in 1824. Then she fought the Britishers bravely. First battle she won but the second battle she was caught and impressioned. That time in that Balhungal Jal she lost her breath in 2nd Feb 1829. Her name should be written in our Indian history. So she is a great lady. So, what we have learnt about Kitur Rani Chanama students, tell me. She was born in 1778. Her parents are Dhulapa Gauda and Padmavati. She learnt languages of Urdu, Marathi and
Kannada, she read the books of Ramayana Mahabharata, great epics like Ramayana Mahabharata and the different books of Vachanas. She got married with the uh, Kittur state king. Who is he? What is his name? Malasarja. And then next, in 1824, Britishers attacked Kittur fort. Then she was kept in the jail, Balhungal jail. Next, in the at, uh, she lost her breath. Second fair, 1829. This is about Kitturani Chanama students. Okay. Bye-bye. We'll meet in the next class.